to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. I am so appreciative of the community that we're building here. I just cannot thank you guys enough for watching my videos and continuing to subscribe. Make sure you comment down below, like, and share this video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about a health savings account and maximizing your employer benefits. So make sure you stick around and watch the entire video. So I wanted to make this video because I feel like a lot of people enter into the career world and they don't really know much about benefits and the importance of maximizing your benefits and how your benefits sometimes can be more important than your salary or your pay. So for example, specifically I wanted to talk about health savings accounts because it's something that I'm using right now even at my job and it's one of the most amazing benefits I feel like I have at this moment in time. If you guys follow me on my personal YouTube channel, Kaya Abdul, I talk about how and when I'm gonna be getting double jaw surgery. And in getting double jaw surgery, obviously it's expensive, but luckily my insurance pays for it. There are other things that I have to do in preparation for it. Like I had to get two teeth removed. This is a very personal video, but <laughs> I had to get two teeth removed and then I also now have Invisalign and that is something that's not covered by my insurance. However, a health savings account is an account specifically for health procedures. So you can set up your benefits to the point where your job deducts money from your check every two weeks and it goes into that health savings account. The money that goes into that health savings account is untaxed, yes. It's untaxed. So you're using basically money that the government will not tax for health procedures. Something that you have to pay for already. If you're someone and you have to get braces, why would you take the money from your paycheck that gets taxed to pay for those braces? When you could move that money to your health savings account and just pay for the braces that way and get more money. You get more money. It's like, it's free money basically. So for me, I put the maximum amount that I could put in my health savings account, which is about, I think $3,600 for the year. And also I get to put money away in my account for like parking. And I think I did about $100 for the year for parking. So I just use that health savings card to pay for those things. Whenever I go to the pharmacy to pick up medication, I use that card. Invisalign monthly payments, I use that card. My doctor's appointments, when I go to the dermatologist, co-pays, I use that card. So it's really important that if you're job offers a health savings account that you use it and you put the maximum amount of money in it. Now, if you don't have a lot going on, for example, like there have been years where a health savings account wouldn't have made sense for me because I, I didn't go to the doctor that often. I wasn't really doing any procedures. I wasn't like my wisdom teeth pulled at that time. Like it just wouldn't have made sense. So I mean, saving that money is okay. But for people who have things lined up, it makes sense to put the maximum amount in that health savings account because you're gonna spend the money anyway. So you may as well spend money that's not getting taxed. So that's the first thing. The second thing is 401k. I think people don't understand the importance of a 401k. And I know a lot of people in Generation Z and like some millennials are like, uh, like I don't care about a 401k, da, 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 da. You need to care. Because first of all, in a 401k you can put untaxed money as well. Okay, first of all, I'm not an accountant or anything like that, so always check with an accountant for any of your financial things. I'm just saying that from a career perspective and uh, maximizing your money and your benefits perspective, this all makes sense. So it makes sense to maximize your HSA. It makes sense to have a 401k with your company, especially if your company does 401k match. So a lot of times if you put in 5% of your annual salary, the company will match that and also put 5% or 10% or 15%. But I mean, they'll put whatever, they'll match whatever you're putting, which is important because guess what? That's free money. If you make $100,000 a year and you're going to put 10% of your money in your 401k, $10,000 a year, and your company's like, whatever you put will match. Your company's also going to give you $10,000 in your 401k. Why would you not want that? That's free money, again. Free money HSA, untaxed, free money 401k. And the reason some people say that you should put untaxed money in your 401k is because when you get older, your tax bracket might be lower. So when you pull that money out, you're gonna be taxed at whatever tax bracket you're at at the age of 65 or what, whenever you decide to retire. Some people say you should just tax the money, whatever. I mean, again, talk to an accountant about it, but it's just really important that you also utilize that 401k. Now a Roth IRA is a little bit different and I don't want to explain it on this channel because again, I'm not an accountant and I don't want to confuse people, but either one, if your job offers those benefits, use it. The next thing, vacation time. 
Your company gives you vacation time, use it. Use all of those vacation times. I used to not want to use my vacation time because I would be like, I want to be a good employee. Like, you know, I want them to know that I'm committed to the job, but you're given that vacation time for a reason. So it's important that you use every single one of your days. Some companies, you know, it carries over or they'll do a payout a certain amount of days for the year, stuff like that. If you want the money instead, I understand. But for the most part, you should just using your vacation days to the fullest of your abilities. The next thing is your insurance. People sometimes wonder, should I get a HMO? Should I get a PPO? HMO is a health managed option. I think that's what the acronym stands for. Uh, don't quote me. <laughs> but it's basically like you can't just go and see any provider on your own. You have to see your primary care physician and get like a referral. Whereas a PPO, you can go and see anybody. Like the other day, I went and saw the dermatologist and I didn't have to go to my primary care physician to do that. So I always tell younger people or uh, new grads who are just starting out to get a PPO, unless you have a pre-existing condition, then you might want to move to an HMO. But for young people, like for people our age, it doesn't really make sense. So PPO is always easier. And sometimes if you select a PPO, your company might give you like different benefits or like extra money or like a flexible savings account where they put money on it, something along those lines. So with your insurance, I think it's important to maximize the benefits of your insurance as well. Go and get your annual physicals, glasses, even if you don't need glasses. These are Tom Ford. I didn't have to get this expensive frame, but it was paid for. So why would I not? Why would I not maximize that benefit if it's already paid for? I don't understand. People don't like free money. People don't pay attention to the free money type of things. Of course I'm gonna go and get the most expensive glasses if I can, why not? So stuff like that. And then obviously, even if you don't need glasses, some eye doctors allow you to get sunglasses and that's also covered by your insurance. So, I mean, you're gonna buy sunglasses anyway. You may as well use it through your insurance. Like, why not? Uh, massages. I used to get massages as a form of self care. My insurance pays for massages. So why would I, I mean, of course, I'm gonna find a chiropractor that has a massage therapist and instead of paying out of my own pocket, out of my own, out of my own pocket, why would I not just use my insurance to get massage therapy and get massages? As well as chiropractor, as well as some insurance companies also pay for acupuncture. Stuff that you're already gonna pay out of your pocket, make sure it's not covered by your insurance already. Dermatologist, why am I going to an esthetician to get facials when I can go to a licensed dermatologist, pay my copay with my HSA account, and it's covered by my insurance? So, I don't know if these things are just general knowledge to people, but I feel like when I first started out in my career, I didn't fully understand the importance of maximizing your benefits. So I just wanted to make this video for you guys so that you can understand the benefits that you have working for certain employers. And sometimes when you're in that negotiation phase of your salary, it's important to talk about some of this stuff. For example, the company I work for now is so amazing with my health insurance to the point where I don't pay anything. A lot of companies, they take money out of your check to go towards your insurance. I don't pay for my insurance, which is amazing. I don't literally zero dollars out of my check. I don't pay, which is such a, a great benefit that a lot of companies don't offer. So when you're doing your negotiation with your companies or for your employers, make sure you pay attention to those kind of things. And I hope this video was helpful for someone. If you guys have any more questions about maximizing your benefits or about HSAs, that was the most important thing I wanted to talk about today. If you have any questions about any benefits at all, make sure you leave comments down below and I'll try and answer them. Again, consult with an accountant for anything related to money in terms of like your 401k and Roth IRA. But other than that, I'd be happy to engage with you guys in the comments. All right. Until next time, guys. Bye.